this affliction Locked up inside myself This life is much too young to fade The next thing I can remember was waking up on the ground. We collided into Henry in an attempt to rescue Isabel, Dalkey and Toad from Derek, but I guess we failed. From looking around I could see that Boko and Edward were trying to rerail the two while survivors came over to help anyone who'd been injured. I got of lucky with a few cuts and bruises however Henry's driver had a broken arm from being slammed into the controls and his fireman had severe whiplash. Poor guys. Henry and Oliver seemed no better though. Henry looked so guilty and was profusely apologizing to Oliver about the crash. I then looked at Oliver and god he looked awful. His face had several cuts from flying debris, his front was badly bent and he looked absolutely traumatized. I also noticed his Ben was nowhere to be seen. I asked Percy where he was and he said that Ben had shot past earlier before we came in and they haven't seen him since. I still just can't believe what Derek's become, the thing one of the nicest engines on the railway has become this killing machine. He doesn't deserve this. None of us do. Hey. They'll be alright. I just wish I could have done more. Alright we're going to head back to Wellsworth as it doesn't seem safe here anymore. We've packed up our stuff and the cavalcade is as follows. Boko and Henry up front with a flatbed. If we encounter Bear or Derek we should be able to put up a decent enough fight. James and Edward will be pulling our supplies in Percy, Annie, Clarabelle and some other branch coaches and finally us going at the back. We're going to head out soon hopefully we can find Ben as well. Finally a bit of good news, we found Ben albeit he was in pretty bad shape. We noticed something in the harbor as we neared Suttery and we quickly assumed that it was Ben. Edward said he'd go get him and he wouldn't be long. Then I'm so sorry. I can't imagine what you must be going through. Uh. 
I, I could have saved him, both of them. It was entirely out of your control. Now will you come with us? Okay, I will. Don't worry, brother. I will avenge you. We arrived at Wellsworth to see Thomas was gone. I just don't understand how he could have vanished like that. We've spent the night here and have been into the town for supplies. Once we got back James suggested that we go look around the Ellsbridge area and Thomas's branch line. Percy seemed up for it as Toby, Mavis or Daisy might be there. We said we would go as well as Oliver will stop at nothing to find Isabel, Dalkey and Toad. Henry volunteered to come as well as if we encounter Bear or Derek he should put up a good fight. Oko and Edward will stay and help Ben recover. We will head out in about half an hour. We arrived at Ellsbridge and went to fill up Oliver's tanks up while we waited for Henry and James who pulled in 10 minutes later but as soon as we had greeted them we got a panic radio call from Bolko's driver telling us to run and that bear was coming. As if on cue we saw Douglas running in reverse, with a line of trucks going at speeds we never thought he could reach. As he passed us he yelled at us to run. James, move! Oh crap!
We have to go after him. Right, well, cut them a bit, Knapford, come on you too. As we arrived in Knapford, we quickly noticed something. Wait, what? Rosie, Dennis. What are y'all doing here? Wah. Guys, we have to go, come on. No, I thought you were killed. Help me. Dear God, Percy Reverse, get out of here. Right, that does it. James, what are you? Oh dear God, driver shoot the bloody thing. Come on, let's get out of here, we have to warn the others. Right. Screw this. Oliver, what are you doing? What the hell? Whoa, whoa. What the hell was that? Come on, we have to go. But we can't just leave them. Oliver's right, we have to go.
It's such a shame to see this beautiful place as a wasteland. Yeah. I just hope Percy's alright. Oh my god, Percy, thank god you're alright. It's good to see you to Henry. What happened to you? Well... Well, at least you're all right. Thanks. James, you've been awfully quiet. Is everything okay? What was that? I said I'm sick of you, you great western prat. You've just been leaving others for dead just to keep yourself spotless. Think of Thomas. He didn't have to sacrifice himself, but he did just because you couldn't be bothered to get out of your bunker and help. James, calm down. Shut up, Edward G. And Boko were the as well. You likewise could have helped. And second, think of Rosie and Dennis. Just then we could have helped them, but you just got US to leave them. They could be dead for all we know. We would have been killed. And, oh and finally, Isabel, Dulcie, and Toad. Don't you dare you little- You could have saved them. You tired. And let them bloody go. You then went after them but slammed yourself into Henry. It wasn't his fault, James. I don't give a damn. What I am saying is Oliver probably could have stopped, but instead threw himself into you. He could have smoothed let them go, and but now they're definitely dead. No. No. Line in the f sand, I've had it with you. You're saying how I've left others for dead. What about you, huh? Leaving Boko without trying to help him, he could have been killed if not for Edward. And while I was out trying to help Bill Ben and Salty, what were you doing? You were sitting in the shed like a coward. No one was in steam. Like I give a fuck, boss. You.
I'll go after him. E.E. E. Edward is that. Oh, it's my god. You can't breathe.